Hello guys, welcome back to Funny Soft Tech. Now today we are going to see about second session of the code Java. Okay, so in this section we are going to see about features of Java. Okay, like I'm going to create one document for this, and here we are going to discuss about application or application types types and and features of java okay features of java so we are going to discuss now so before that i need to tell you like if you are a new user in our channel just go and subscribe our channel and see here this is the previous session right so i'm going to give uh, this entire notes and uh, diagrams to our page official page like open your web browser and type dream world of java dream world of java okay click enter dream world of java which is which is facebook page guys okay you just open the dream world of java facebook page okay it is coming to slash funny soft tick okay so these is our uh, dream world of java official page okay go to here notes section So these are all the notes. We are providing a lot of best content in Java. Uh, for example, factory method related things. Okay, some of the programs like uh, some of the square of the random prime numbers, how we will generate. Okay, some of the uh, multi-threaded environment and uh, throws and custom exception. There are a lot of questions. Question and answers will be there, and some of the blocks also here available. So this is our content code Java session one. If you open this, see here, this is a uh, notes which is uh, discussed in the previous session. And if any diagrams, I will post it here. Okay. So you just go and uh, like uh, this dream world of Java, follow the all the content. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss about two things. So first one is the application types, type of applications. In previous session, we are seeing the architectures, application architecture types. Here, application types. Okay, which type of applications we are going to develop by using Java? Okay. Then second one is the Java features. Java features is the second one. Okay. These we are going to discuss now. okay now application types application types so i'm going to open my point so actually of course we know of about software right? software is a set of instructions okay uh, so we have a application here application application in the sense it's a collection of programs is nothing but application okay this is my application so application can be divided into two types one is the standalone application stand alone standalone applications standalone applications and second one is a distributed application distributed applications distributed applications okay you can divide two types so I'm going to make it like this okay okay now okay we will see what is standalone applications here okay so applications application can be divided into two types one is the standalone applications and second one is the what is that distributed distributed applications okay distributed applications what is this standalone applications okay I'm going to give one high-level description here standalone applications 
is a applications which is installed in your local disk okay so it is a it is a or these are these are applications which are installed in your local disk local disk in the sense c drive for example c drive okay and which can be used by which can be used by you you only okay it's not a shareable applications okay for example if you see examples like uh, uh, calculator calculator and some vlc player we are using vlc player in our system right vlc player and some music players or some things anything okay local system which are installable 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 files all installable files and in local i think installable files yeah like a games some of the games okay these are all are called standalone applications standalone applications in the sense the applications which are installed in your local disk okay these are not shareable okay these are not shareable these are not shareable shareable so use only i mean wherever the application is there those persons only use this type of application for example calculator i have a calculator in my laptop right calculator calculator is the software this is also software application only okay but it is installed in my system only okay some other persons not able to access this okay i am only using this calculator okay same like games any games local installable games everything these are all called as standalone applications these are not shareable okay that's it and what is about uh, distributed applications so distributed applications is application or it's a softwares okay these are applications which are which are created by someone and used by others okay so these are shareable applications shareable applications okay these are shareable to entire um, globally globally shareable applications okay if you see the examples for this um, we have lot of applications like facebook amazon okay gmail google okay these are all our nowadays we are using uh, i mean www. Dot, uh, some site name dot com right these are all our shareable applications okay for example facebook is there facebook is created by john, john uh, someone okay so which is used by ours okay mark zuckerberg is the invented person so he is only created this fa facebook and uh, put in one server okay used by used by some other like ours we are just to go to our browser and uh, hit like www.facebook.com we are able to use the facebook site okay these type of applications are called distributed applications shareable applications okay this is high level description guys so go to now go to here i am going to divide this okay application can be applications can be divided into two types one is the standalone application another one is the distributed application okay so i am further i am going to divide standalone applications into two types okay what are what are all those two two, two types one is the application software uh sorry first one is the system software system software another one is the application software application software 
two types here okay first one is the system software another one is the application software application software okay so i'm going to divide standalone application into these two types okay what is system software and what is the application software here yeah we'll check now yes so further next point what is that standalone applications can be divided into two types one is the um, system software system software what is system software here system software is the software or application which is installed by c drive of course i mean local disk because of it is a standalone application okay which is communicate to hardware hardware devices this type of software is nothing but system software example our os operating system and drivers okay um i want to communicate with uh, my scanner i want to um, communicate with scanner so i need scanner software scanner software okay uh, if you want to use pen drive in the sense so internally pen drive software is available okay some pen drive software pen drive software okay uh, if you want to use any third party things third party i mean for example modem is there modem if you want to use modem you need to install that particular modem software into your local these type of softwares are called system softwares okay is mainly it is focusing on hardware devices which is, which is communicate to that hardware device okay so if you want to use mouse mouse in the sense uh, internally it needs mouse software okay this type of software is called system softwares and what about the second one application software right application software so application software is a software which is um, which is uh, created by which is created by uh, programming languages for example simply programming languages okay like a c uh, programming languages in the sense c language c++ language and java language etc okay these are all third party software which are uh, installable files right like vlc players calculators and some games these are all called application softwares okay example i'm going to give like a vlc's vlc player some music players okay players calculator calculator etc these are called application softwares application softwares we can develop by using programming languages okay in core java we are focusing on mainly application softwares guys okay we will develop one application by using core java okay in future so we just go through the all the tutorials then we will develop application software okay one application we are going to develop one standalone application okay i hope you understand then distributed applications we can divide into two types okay so first one is what is that first one is first one is the web application web applications and what what about the second one second one is the enterprise enterprise applications applications enterprise applications enterprise applications are distributed application both are same okay based on the situation we can change change to pronounce okay so applications and enterprise applications here okay we'll see what 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 is web applications okay a uh, third step is web application right web applications what is web applications web applications is a shareable applications of course it is a shareable application okay which is used to create some web technologies okay which are used to uh, uh, which are created by 
created by using some web technologies some web technologies okay so yeah distributed application is distributing we will distribute that application we are created one application and we will distribute that application along globally okay so the those applications are called distributed applications so web application we can we can develop that application by using web technologies okay for example like html jsps servlets okay is it this type of technologies we are going to use for developing the web applications okay like here example is facebook everything is a web application only but but some uh, for uh, this naming 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 perspective we will divide it into web applications and enterprise applications okay enterprise applications enterprise application is also application web application which is having which is having collection of web applications collection of web applications okay collection of web applications this is called enterprise applications we are going to use all the enterprise level applications like banking applications everyone is a enterprise level application it have heavy security high security applications okay so web application is a normal applications we are going to develop by using only htm i mean normal web technologies when we go for enterprise applications we are using collection of web applications as well as some high security protocol i mean procedures like here entire entire application we are we are uh, discussing in previous session right that type of entire application some firewall programming is there lot of security they are giving to um develop develop this type of application this is called enterprise level applications okay i hope you understand so here system software and application software application software we are going to develop by using core java core java core java is j2sc simply j2sc j2sc okay j2sc here which technologies in j2sc we are going to use swing swing and awt and applets if required applets also we can use no problem but it is a web um, by using applets we can develop web applications actually but it is uh, part of uh, j2sc only core java only j2sc in the sense core java okay yes fine web applications we can develop by using j2gg java to enterprise edition okay and here by using already we already discussed right servlets servlet jsps and html some other technologies okay web services these are all car technologies so here we can call call it as a jar we can package it into jar jar is a java or queue okay full form of this is java uh, jar jar is jar in the sense java or queue okay and here web application we are going to package entire application into dot var dot var file okay dot var var in the sense web or queue okay web or queue so enterprise application is a collection of wars collection of wars okay that's it right collection of web applications is nothing but enterprise application that's what we can call it as a dot ar dot enterprise r queue okay enterprise r queue okay what is this the full form java r queue and here web application web r queue and here collection of var is nothing but ar here enterprise enterprise r queue okay this is the normal uh, functionality guys so this is about the application types okay you will divide it into two types standalone application distributed application standalone can be divided into system software application software and distributed applications can be divided into two types web applications and enterprise level applications okay i hope you understand so we can go ahead and create uh, this type of applications if you see that all the tutorial core java tutorial we are going to develop this application software okay standalone application okay if you if you have a um, professional in web applications i mean j2e advanced java things then you can easily go ahead and create web applications okay and enterprise level applications also you can go ahead and create once you are uh, proficient in web technologies okay that's it guys so we will back on next session for the java features okay please subscribe keep learning
बाय